In human history, there are many unsolved events. One of them was the Chelyabinsk meteorite event in Russia in 2013, when a massive meteorite rare invaded a human habitat. Fortunately, the meteor was crushed by a mysterious object 30 kilometers above the ground, which greatly weakened its energy before it landed. If the meteorite hits the Earth's surface intact and directly, the power will be equivalent to more than 500,000 tons of TNT explosives, and also equivalent to the power of 30 Hiroshima atomic bombs. Finally, although the incident caused thousands of injuries, the overall impact was not that huge. So what object crushed the huge meteorite falling at high speed? Now let us push the timeline back to Chelyabinsk, Russia on February 15, 2013. On February 15, 2013, scientists had predicted a small asteroid called Duende would come unusually close to Earth. Scientists have been tracking this asteroid for about one year and have calculated its orbit, predicting it will only come close to Earth without hitting. The international scientific community also had planned to take this opportunity to observe this asteroid further. But the solar system doesn't seem to care about these human plans. That morning, near the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, something unexpected happened. A meteor about 17 meters long plunged into the atmosphere at a small angle, traveling 10 times faster than a jet fighter. It moved so fast that even the molecules in the atmosphere couldn't escape, forming a layer of ions that caused the meteor to heat up. When it fell 38 kilometers above the ground, it exploded and disintegrated for unknown reasons, leaving only flying debris and superheated air. At that time, the residents only saw a ball of fire flying past their heads. For a while, the light of the fire was brighter than the sun, and a black shadow was reflected on the ground. They could feel the heat from the explosion on their faces and also felt waves, and some even reported burning. The explosion site was about 53 kilometers away from the city of Chelyabinsk. People who witnessed the explosion said, my ears are bursting. Some people even shouted, war is coming. Countless cell phones, traffic cameras, and surveillance cameras here and there recorded the incident, and the footage quickly spread across the internet. This incident caused damage to more than 7,000 houses in Russia and injured more than 1,500 people. According to reports, the meteorite is about 17 meters in diameter, weighs about 7,000 tons. Most of the pieces did not hit the ground, but instead exploded into a rain of fire. After calculation, if this meteor did not explode and disintegrate in the air, but slammed into the ground in one go, the power would be equivalent to the explosion of 500,000 tons of TNT, and also equivalent to the power of 30 Hiroshima atomic bombs. Chelyabinsk Oblast not only has Russia's largest nuclear power plant, but also has a large-scale nuclear waste storage and processing center, where dozens of tons of weapons-grade plutonium are kept. If the meteorite hits the surface of Chelyabinsk directly, it will turn the Earth into hell immediately. Why did the meteor explode in the air? Regarding the reason for the meteor explosion in the air, the official response is, after the meteor entered the atmosphere, its speed was extremely fast, reaching an astonishing Mach 56. The air in front of that meteor was extremely compressed, resulting in high pressure and heat. Under high temperature and pressure, the structures inside the meteor were cracked, which led to the explosion. This meteorite crash event soon drew attention around the world. A mysterious video, captured by a dash cam, recorded that, when that meteor crossed the sky, a disc-shaped object appeared right behind it for no reason, chasing the meteor at high speed. Later, people zoomed in and slowed down that video, found the Chelyabinsk meteor was possibly smashed by a UFO, or called unidentified flying object. According to the measurement data, Chelyabinsk meteor was about to hit the ground at a high speed about 30 kilometers per second, and the UFO caught up with the meteor and smashed it, indicating its speed was much faster than the meteor. With the current level of human science and technology, even to this day, it is impossible to crush a meteor falling at that high speed in this way. After that incident, many netizens questioned whether the military intercepted the meteor. The Russian military responded immediately, when the asteroid was at a height of 26 kilometers above the ground, its speed reached an astonishing Mach 40 or 50, which is 40 or 50 times the speed of sound, far exceeding the flight speed limit of existing human missiles. Even the hypersonic weapons being developed by the United States, Russia and China are at most 6 to 10 times the speed of sound, and from the exposed video, the UFO's flight path is also different from the missile's bottom-up interception trajectory. Therefore, the theory of military interception is nonsense. Strange crystals inside the Chelyabinsk meteorite After the meteorite crash, a large number of meteorite fragments were scattered in the west of Chelyabinsk, and efforts were made to find and study them in the following years. 
A research team led by Russian physicist Sergei Taskov has published a paper describing the discovery of two strange crystals in the particles of the Chelyabinsk meteorite. When the researchers looked at the sample through a microscope, they found a strange hexagonal rod-shaped crystal structure. After that, they researched on the collected meteorite particles with a more powerful scanning electron microscope and later discovered another peculiar crystal structure. The researchers say the strange crystal structures may have formed under certain conditions, such as high temperature, high pressure and special catalysts, when meteorites explode, but the exact formation mechanism remains a mystery. According to their plan, the next step of their exploration is to study whether these peculiar crystal structures are unique to the Chelyabinsk meteorite. Imagine, if these peculiar crystal structures are really unique to that Chelyabinsk meteorite, are they related to the UFO suspected of crushing the meteorite we mentioned above? Or is it the residue after the UFO hit the meteorite? Who saved the Earth? Some people suspect we are protected by aliens, and some people think it's the work of the mysterious underground people. Perhaps the civilization and technology of aliens are already ahead of us, so before human satellites have detected the asteroid, they already know the trajectory of the meteorite and stop it. As for the underground people, Snowden's defection happened just four months after the meteorite impact. Snowden published an article after lurking in Russia, claiming the US government has data proving there are people underground. They live underground and rely on the heat of the Earth to sustain their lives, and their technology develops more advanced than ours. Since they also live on this same Earth, it makes sense to protect this planet from asteroid impacts. To this day, we still don't have a perfect explanation for the Chelyabinsk meteor event. In fact, whether aliens or underground civilizations, we don't have enough evidence to prove their existence, but we have to admit there are something cannot be explained by science really existing. What do you think about this event? Please feel free to leave your comment.